Guys, I let them borrow my drum kit. Okay, so in this video, we're gonna be talking about drum cases, actually. These are the drum cases that I have. Soft cases, I've had them for years. They're not terrible, I got nothing against them. But when I was asked to borrow my drum kit, it got me thinking, are these the best cases? Should I invest in some more cases? So that's what we did, and so, what do you like, soft cases or hard cases? In this video, we are going to be talking about So yeah, so I'm gonna rewind a little bit uh, and bring you up to speed on why there's no drum kit here in the studio. Okay, it is about 8.30 on Tuesday night. I'm headed up to the studio now to meet Easton to load up the kit. So a little bit of backstory. There is Missouri Youth Convention this week here in St. Louis. So I need to remind you as you're going to the Afterburner tonight, who all's going to the main event? Easton texted me, he said, hey bro, can I borrow your kit? So he's a great guy. I was like, man, I'd be happy for you to do that. It's local, you know, no sweat. So he's taking all my stuff, taking drums, cymbals, hardware. I think he's taking just the whole thing. But it got me thinking, I was like, man, I've never really put that much thought or effort into how I transport my kit. I've had the same soft cases for a year. You know, they're not terrible and they've done fine and I haven't really transported a lot, but there have been times where I've been like loading it or moving around I'm like, Ooh, man, I'm just, I don't know if these are the way to go. And I've, you know, just been concerned. So it just got me thinking, is there a better option out there? So uh, I hit up my guy at Sweetwater. I said, hey, bro, this is the situation. I'm moving these drums. You know, I really have never explored the world of drum cases. And I would be interested in some hard cases. What is out there that you would recommend? Hit me right back. He's like, bro, we've well, got some cases. I would love for you to check these out. I think you would really dig these. And uh, so he, he hooked me up, he's sending them out. Um, but I didn't get in front of it quick enough. So it'll, it'll be a good experiment because we're gonna take the set there using my current cases. Again, I'm not trying to blast these cases. They've been fine, they're okay. But we're gonna take them to the event in the soft cases. My hard cases are gonna get in while the event's happening. And then we're gonna load them up there at the event center and bring them back in the hard case. So it'll be like a perfect real world example of soft cases versus hard case. I'm gonna see uh, what we think about this. So I'm going up there, I'm gonna try to break everything down in a way that makes sense, where I can reset it up. I may even try to like tape, uh, like mark up my drum rug, which I'll talk about that a little bit. I ordered a new drum rug, so I'll probably won't even worry about it because I just have like a house rug right now. Uh, it's uh, it's rough. But heading up to the studio, it's late, but we got storms coming in tomorrow morning early, so we're just getting it knocked out because he's loading into the event center tomorrow. Soft cases or hard cases? What do you prefer? Let's discover together. All right, guys. It's getting loaded out now. It's in Easton's hands, so we'll pray. Sorry, I got this new lens, and I think I have to update the firmware on or something because it keeps canceling on me and going to manual focus. So, so I don't have a... Uh, hardware case, but we're gonna rectify that because um, I'm getting one of those. But I've never had one, which is kind of crazy to think about because lugging hardware is terrible. And you know, this is Easton. Hello, guys. So if something doesn't come back in the studio and you never see it again, that's this me. is the man. It's his fault. You can blame me. Blame but he's gonna be smashing this week at youth convention. Okay, we load it up. Okay, so yeah, um, Easton just left with the kit. It's loaded out, and uh, we're gonna go through. He took uh, symbol selection. He took the 15-inch Masters hats. He took the 8-inch Modern Essentials Splash. Um, the 18-inch Dark Energy Crash. 20-inch Masters Thin Crash. And my 21-inch Dark Energy mark one ride so great choices extra to my thomas silver star snare so i think it's a great setup it's one i use all the time it's gone guys the drum set is out of the studio but i took the chance uh, i mean i took the opportunity i did take a chance i took a chance and let this guy borrow my drums am i crazy or what no it's gonna be cool um i'm glad he he's uh, able to use them and they're gonna be uh helpful to him um but this is the rug i've had in here for a while as you guys know it's like from my old house like it's from ikea 
So I just bought a rug on Amazon um, because I wanted to get in ASAP. So I'll show you the one that I bought. It's like 50 bucks. Again, it's not name brand. Um, and uh, we'll see how it is. But I just need something. Obviously, the floor in here, it's not the greatest. It's like they pulled up carpet off here, so it's glue floor. So I don't need like a really nice one. This is just like a just a rug to throw down. Um, so I'm going to get the rug in here, take the opportunity to kind of clean some of the cabling up and everything. After this convention is over, I'm actually headed to South Korea with my family. So I'm not going to be back in the studio for a while. We're going to see what the difference is in my mind between you know, the soft cases that I have versus some hard cases that are coming. And so I would love to hear you guys' thoughts on you know, the whole hard case, soft case. I don't even know if it is a debate, but I just think, I think that there's better options. There's more secure options than what I have used and I've been using for my kit. And they don't make the kit that I, that I have that I, I love it. So I wanna protect it to the utmost. So I wanna show you guys um, you know, some hard cases. If you're like me, you've just got soft cases, you just got whatever, um, is it worth you know, taking the step and getting some hard cases? So we're gonna be diving into that. But yeah, we're gonna probably pick back up maybe with Easton at the um, convention center for this youth conference this is gonna be cool and then we'll load out with our hard cases friday night after the event we'll bring it back into the studio so i'll probably catch up with you guys later in the week what's up guys easton here today is wednesday uh the first night of myc missouri youth convention uh time is roughly 10 30. i'm heading over to the convention center now Got everything packed in here. The purple Mapex kit. Shout out to Daniel. Thank you for letting me use it this week. Um, I'm meeting with the music director for the Bushnell, Daniel. Super awesome guy. And I'm gonna get everything set up. Sound check is at four o'clock. Get there pretty early. Get everything set up. Make sure it looks good. And yeah, probably set up a time lapse. See how everything looks. Yeah. See you guys there. Sweetwater delivery. Thank you. 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 Gator. Let's go. Okay. It is Friday afternoon. Um, it is four o'clock. This has been a crazy week. So um, outside of the video about the drum cases here, uh, it has been Missouri District UPCI, um, their youth holiday youth convention, and I've been speaking in the days, um, and then my friend Matthew Tuttle, uh, Pastor Matthew Tuttle, was speaking at night. So we've been really busy just doing all of this. So it's been hard to actually capture any content. So forgive me for that. But I got the cases in, and these are the Gator uh, protector cases. Okay, so. Um, this is, uh, I've got Tom cases, so 10, 12, 14, 16, 22 inch kick. Um, and then I've got their symbol case here. And then I've got the hardware case. I'm actually probably most excited about this hardware case. So a couple of things like this is on the bottom, it's a hard, like hard shell with these really nice, I'm going to call them skateboard wheels because they're pretty soft. Um, but then, you know, it's like hard all the way around, but then it opens up and on top it's a soft case. Okay, sorry, that's better. So the bottom is got a hard shell all the way around and then, you know, it's actually got a lot of volume so you can see how kind of tall this is. And the inside has got a really, really thick, like felt interior. Um, it's got these two heavy duty handles on either side and then it's got this one handle like a rolling handle but if you just want to carry it it's got two handles there and it's got two handles here so this is made to carry some serious stuff and then on the inside it's got these again really really thick felt um, kind of braces right so these are double velcro there's two of them okay so the idea is you can kind of secure your stands and there's one over here. Again, this is just, you can see how thick this uh, felt is. So you can secure symbol stands or whatever hardware you need. And so again, the volume of this bag is pretty big. So I'm really excited about that. Um, the symbol bag, what's cool is it, it's a very thin bag, right? This is not a heavy duty, this is not a hard case, heavy duty, like thick, robust in the sense of like really, really thick, really heavy case. But the actual felt on the uh, both exterior um, size is really thick so like the actual uh, thickness of the felt is 
pretty good for how slim of a bag it is. So you've got pocket here. Okay, so it's just an a exterior pocket. You've got your, you know, hats here. Again, this is a very, very thick felt in between these compared to a lot of bags that I've had and do have. Um, then, you know, just felt dividers here. So pretty straightforward bag here. You've got a couple of different ways that you can carry it. Um, and then this is just a drum rug. This is not a Gator product. This is just like a rug on Amazon that I'm going to throw in the studio. I've talked about that a little bit, but that's not really a part of this. Okay, then these protector cases by Gator. Um, these are very, very light cases. These are hard cases, and it's got a clamp right there. You take this off. You know, there's not really anything inside there. So the question in my mind is not really soft cases versus hard cases, but the use case for each one of them. So for me, you know, the soft cases for lighter circumstances do provide more actual padding of the drum, but don't provide any protection for like dropping. So a couple of issues I have with hard cases over the years. Number one is like when it's pressed up against something in a vehicle and it, it rubs and there's friction on there and it wears it down. Whereas this would protect like in like specifically against you know, no friction of any of the surface or two drums hitting each other. A lot of my problems with soft cases have arisen from dropping. If you drop a drum in a case or outside of a case, you know, it could sustain some damage. But dropping where like it's going to nick and puncture through the soft case, which has like some punctures through. And then also, honestly, it's been more of like just when it's like pressed up against another drum or object or the back of a seat or something where that prolonged friction over like a road trip like rubs varnish off, rubs finish off, you know, digs into or gouges that even through the case. So that's been the problem with hard, with soft cases. So I think this is obviously much more protected against that. So to me, uh, this is a big step up from soft cases I've got. So I'm um, excited. We're going to pack the drums up in this tonight and we'll kind of give you a live look at, you know, uh, packing everything into the cases, uh, symbol case and hardware case. So it's going to be good. So it's kind of cool. I just fit everything, all four Tom cases. Uh, I think this is five and a half by 14 snare, and then my cymbal inside the kick drum case. So that's kind of neat. So the only thing left is the cymbal bag. No one knows. All right, Easton, what'd you think, bro? What's up, guys? Uh, it's awesome. This he did great. Yeah. This he did great. Awesome. So we are done. We're gonna start load out here in a second. So this is the St. Charles Convention Center, about 2,000 people or so. So again, we got the Gator Protector cases here. So we're loading all that. I got the snare case here. And the hardware case. This is the one I'm most excited about using, I haven't used before and then the symbol case over there so we're just gonna load everything out and uh, go from there I'm excited about the difference between hard cases and soft cases kind of that ability to keep it from you know uh, rubbing especially this finish man I love this finish the, the cheat code with this is this is not a wrap this is a lacquer finish so that's not a wrap on the drums there I think this is my favorite Mapex finish of all time so yeah this has been great um, so I want to say thank you to Sweetwater for hooking me up with these cases and I'll have links to every single case I'm using and all the gear that I'm using in the description of this video But man, I think uh, one thing you should consider if you care about your gear, which I do and it's taken me a long time but upgrade your cases man, maybe just start with a snare case and then uh, I think these are great. They're economical. They're not crazy expensive There's definitely more expensive cases out there, but I think these are be pretty good and they're just solid man They're, they're simple. They're light. They're not very heavy but um, it's, a, it's a very simple thing. I'm not trying to overhype 
it's just a hard case, right? It's a drum case, but it's one of those kind of necessary accessories that make a big difference in the long run and the longevity and safety of your kit. So I felt like, man, I'm gonna let someone borrow the kit. I need to get some better cases. So these ones, uh, they're great. And I'll give you a little more uh, thoughts maybe uh, as we get it loaded up and see what we think. All right, so let's talk about hardware. We've got hi-hat stand, cymbal stand with mounts, uh, another cymbal stand. So one, two, three, four, five, and then some accessories and other things. So, oh yeah, I guess six if you count the snare. So we'll see how much can fit into that hardware case. What, baby? You need to find the way out? We need to take this. Okay, go this way. Where are you going? Trying to go find that tomorrow. So this is all the hardware for the whole kit, and I have plenty more room in this. Like, a ton more room. So, I am hyped about that, man. This is a game changer. If nothing else, I would say, if you have cases already, soft cases, and you're happy with them, or other cases, you don't have a hardware bag. I am wild. You guys have seen me on this channel a million times, loading stuff in the back of my truck. This hardware bag? Game changer. Game changer. Game changer. Game changer. Game changer. Hardware bag. For all the dads that help their sons <laughs> move drums. Shout out dad. Shout out dads. <laughs> Shout out dads that move drums. Hardware case. Dad, I implore you, for your own safety, for your own sanity, get a hardware case. It's like the perfect Christmas present for your sons. For your, for your sons. Or yes. daughters that play. Whoever. And it's got wheels on it. So you can roll it. You don't have to carry Those are nice. symbols. Got <laughs> it's got wheels. So yeah, pretty awesome. Hey, so we just got back to the studio, dropped everything off here. I was gonna give you guys my final review on what I thought about the hard cases versus the soft cases. With the hard cases, you just have that peace of mind and moving things around. If you bang up against something, it's not gonna mess up your drums then in the soft cases if you bang up against something it might leave a scratch or a dent or something but these hard cases they're really the real deal mm -hmm.